Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all my students. Welcome to another video of pathology. Today we are going to discuss different ospi stations of blood, neoplasia and musculoskeletal system. Let's start. Slide number one. Slide is of acute promyelocytic leukemia. You can see over here promyelocytes with heavy cytoplasmic granulation. You can appreciate rod-like structures in cytoplasm. These rod-like structures are known as ore rods. These ore rods are formed because of fusion of cytoplasmic granules. Whenever you see ore rod in any member of white blood cell series, the diagnosis is acute myeloid leukemia. So if you are seeing all rods in promyelocytes over here, the diagnosis is acute promyelocytic leukemia. This slide is showing you different members of WBC series, neutrophils, myelocytes, metamyelocytes, even basophil. This is peripheral smear of a patient of chronic myeloid leukemia having all these members of WBC series in circulation. Another view of chronic myeloid leukemia, you can appreciate different shapes of neutrophils. Bilobed, multilobulated, band shaped, Metamyelocytes. Metamyelocytes are the cells which are having indentation in their nuclei. Myelocytes. So the diagnosis is chronic myeloid leukemia. The patient will be having total leukocyte count more than normal limits. Multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a neoplastic disorder of plasma cells. Just appreciate the structure of plasma cell. This is eccentric nucleus, perinuclear halo and basophilic cytoplasm. You can see multiple plasma cells over here. Even you can have atypical forms of plasma cells in multiple myeloma, which you can appreciate in next slide. So this is a typical form of plasma cell. You can appreciate granules or droplets in cytoplasm. These are actually immunoglobulins. As you know, plasma cells form immunoglobulins. So this is a atypical form of plasma cell. Another atypical form of plasma cell. And the slide is full of plasma cell population. The diagnosis is multiple myeloma. This slide is showing you lymphoblast. Lymphoblast, lymphoblast, lymphoblast. Large size lymphoblast having deeply basophilic cytoplasm plus vacuolation in cytoplasm. These are the ID points to diagnose Burkitt's lymphoma on microscopic slide. In this slide, we have RBCs. Please concentrate. The size of RBC is small as compared to small lymphocyte present on the same slide. If the size of the red blood cell is smaller than that of small lymphocyte present on the same smear, the diagnosis is microcytic RBCs. Since there is hypochromia also in RBCs, the diagnosis is microcytic hypochromic anemia, one of the major causes iron deficiency anemia. Microcytic hypochromic RBCs, pencil cells, 
or oval cells or cigar shaped cells one of the same thing the diagnosis is iron deficiency anemia remember you have to compare the size of rbc with that of the nucleus of small lymphocyte another view of iron deficiency anemia you can appreciate microcytic hypochromic rbc population pencil cells target cells target cells iron deficiency anemia here is a neutrophil having 1 2 3 4 5 6 lobes whenever you find hypersegmented nucleus of neutrophil which is known as hypersegmented neutrophil the diagnosis is macrocytic anemia along with large size rbcs again the size of rbcs will be compared with the nucleus of small lymphocyte present on same smear macrocytic rbcs plus hypersegmented neutrophil diagnosis is macrocytic anemia another hypersegmented neutrophil with macrocytic rbcs the diagnosis is macrocytic anemia the major cause of macrocytic anemia is vitamin b12 and folic acid deficiency beautiful slide of sickle cell anemia this is illustrative one to show you the difference between normal rbcs and sickle shaped rbcs now have a look on another slide sickle rbcs sickle rbcs sickle rbcs and normal rbcs the diagnosis is sickle cell anemia you can appreciate sickle rbcs easily on this slide this slide is showing you a glandular tissue you can see hyperplastic glandular epithelium prominent nuclei with coarse chromatin this is diagnostic for adenocarcinoma you can see over here the lumen of the gland is getting obliterated it means this hyperplastic epithelium the ongoing proliferation of epithelium because of any carcinogenic stimulus is producing obliteration of glandular lumen the id points of adenocarcinoma hyperplastic glandular epithelium plus coarse chromatin nuclei and if you can find prominent nucleoli you can also write this id point also this is slide showing you a glandular tissue you can see hyperchromatic nuclei all over epithelium the epithelium is anaplastic over here anaplastic anaplastic glandular epithelium with hyperchromatic nuclei is hallmark for adenocarcinoma now we are moving towards musculoskeletal system this slide is showing you illustrative sketch of giant cell tumor of the bone this tumor is known as osteoclastoma you have two cellular populations over here first population is multinucleated giant cells which have abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm and contain multiple nuclei second population is round to oval cells with round to oval nuclei with prominent nucleoli now have another image these are giant cells giant cells tumor giant cells tumor giant cells 
in between these tumor giant cells we have another population round to oval cells mononuclear cells the diagnosis is giant cell tumor of the bone or osteoclastoma another tumor of the bone illustrative sketch we have tumor cells with variable morphology with pleomorphic hyperchromatic nuclei we have a pink lace like material that is known as osteoid it is eosinophilic homogeneous glass appearing lace like material areas of hemorrhage areas of necrosis all these points direct you towards diagnosis of osteogenic sarcoma now move towards another slide of osteogenic sarcoma osteoid pink lace like material and the other population these are tumor cells which are having hyperchromatic nuclei